Okay. So we'll just wait for the attendees and the attendees are coming in one by one. All right. Can they hear us, Joe? Yeah. Good afternoon, everyone. So yeah, all the attendees are now coming in our, our page. We'll see. Okay. So we already have 101 attendees. So I think we pushed through our 500 subscription. So right now we have 101 attendees. Okay. So I think we can start already. We can, uh, Ryan, we can proceed with our Facebook Live. So good afternoon, everyone. Um, welcome to our, uh, this is an exciting day, of course, for the Sante family. So crisis or no crisis, the grass is greener in uh, Sante Barley. We'd just like to welcome you, of course, to our uh, uh, regular really? Really? Wednesday really? seminar. Okay. So our topic this afternoon, of course, is choosing the right attitude in the midst of adversity. And of course, uh, we have a special guest, which we'll be introducing uh, to you in a little while. Okay, so for all of you who are watching right now via Zoom, okay, um, we're using the Zoom webinar. So there's a portion, a lower portion of the screen, you know, wherein you can ask questions, okay? Um, so you can ask questions. Uh, if some of you, naman, uh, of course, there's a chat portion also. Uh, you can ask your questions using our uh, the chat portion of Zoom. And at the same time, for all of you who are watching via our uh, official Facebook page, the Santi Engage, you can also ask your questions. And uh, later on, Siguro will be inviting um, some of our uh, elites. Siguro, Ian, what you can do also is try to convert na some of the attendees into uh, okay. panelists. Okay? Um, I'm converting some. Imam uh, Martin is already here. Okay, very good. So, yeah. um, so we'd just like to welcome everyone uh, in our uh, regular Wednesday Zoom calls. An exciting day because, of course, we have a special... Well, I don't want to consider him as a guest because he's, he's already part of the Sante family. So just like to welcome everyone. This will be an exciting afternoon. So at this point, we'd just like to give the floor, uh, of course, to one of our directors, Mr. Paul Kaluwag. Paul, just like to say hi to all our partners who are watching right now. Uh, hi, hello everybody. No, uh, magandang hapon. It's uh, it's gonna be an exciting afternoon once again. It's our what we call Sante Engage webinar, and like what Joey said, no, uh, we're gonna learn from a very special person this afternoon. Uh, we all know him, but of course, no, we want to know him better. And uh, buti na lang kamo na napaunlakan tayo ng oras niya, no. So um, sit back, no. Um, learn and uh, you know try to. Try to adapt, no. Uh, try to uh, apply whatever you learn, no, sa ating sitwasyon ngayon, no. And I'm pretty sure this will be a very, very fruitful afternoon for everybody. Joey. Um. Yeah. Anyway. Uh. So at this point, just like maybe to give the floor first. Uh. Of course, without further delay, you know who our special guest is. Uh. Before we go on to our uh, discussion, I just like to give the floor first, of course, to uh, our kapamilya, okay, uh, part of our family. Uh. Just like to give the floor to Mateo. Mateo, the floor is yours right now, bro. Everybody, magandang uh, hapon po sa inyo lahat. Uh. Santi Barley family, kumusta po kayo lahat? Uh, Sir Joey, Sir Paul, and everybody else out there. Um, wow, uh, I'm very, very happy to be here in the Sante. You guys have this every week, correct? Yes, every Wednesday. Yes, every Wednesday. So I'm very, I'm very thankful for, for you know, for, for being invited here. It's such, it's such an honor and privilege. No, and uh, I'm very, very excited to share with you guys uh, the things, the things I keep busy with um, while all this is going on, kumbaga, no? So, yun, I'm excited to talk to all our Sante Barley family members. Kubaga. So, what we're doing, Mateo, is, um, of course, uh, we know that because of, because of the COVID, uh, of course, pandemic, the crisis, uh, marami talaga ang pagbabago in the way uh, companies do their business. Uh, like, we know that even though the lockdown will be lifted in the coming days, okay, uh, definitely there will be a new normal already. Uh, not only in the way but the, that we do business, but in our daily lives. Okay? So I just have a series of questions here, Mateo. Okay? Of course, uh, everyone is uh, uh, dying to know what's happening to you right now also. Siguro, the first question is, um, how's your daily routine right now at home, of course, during the ECQ? Oh, okay, my daily routine. Um, you know, uh, 
at first actually nung nung nag-quarantine talaga tayo, medyo uh, everybody said wala na tayong magawa, nandito lang tayo sa bahay, etc. etc. We we had so much time on our hands. Um as as a few weeks passed and and, and we're here today in, in I don't know how many weeks na. Ilang weeks na ba tayo? Almost at uh, one one and a half months na tayo. So we started oh, March 15, you know, March 15. Yeah. There's so much more activity, so much more uh, chores, so many things for work, and so many things piling up, and and things are starting to become. Everybody's starting to become busy. Kumbaga, no? It's not like that first week na since sabi na, oh, what am I gonna do now? Nandito lang tayo sa bahay. We're actually becoming more and more busy and and, and doing things, doing more things. Um, kumbaga, is it maraming maraming mga tao ng sabi? There, there's so much silver linings in 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 the situation today. Um, you know being home being with your family ako ba kung kasal ako so being with my wife um it's also you know in a way a blessing in disguise that um we have an extended honeymoon <laughs> if you want to <laughs> kumbaga <laughs> no um it's it's a time now we're just we're really locked in our our place and we're getting to know each other more and more every single day um that's the interesting part but of course, not to forget that there are so many people out there still fighting for their lives and are frontliners fighting every single day to save and protect all of us here. So you, I think it's, it's very, very important to realize and to balance the situation. No? Um, when the ECQ happened the first week, we were able already to, to organize different activities on how to help um, our kababayans kumbaga, and how to how to you know how to help and of course with the partnership with the Philipp- of the philippine army we were able to mobilize things very very fast and we were able to um start uh, our activities very very fast um also people might say uh paano paano tayo makatulong nandito lang tayo sa bahay paano tayong gumawa ng mabuti nandito tayo sa bahay dapat nandiyan ako sa labas you know our frontliners our doctors have been begging for us to stay home um and to the people that has been staying home, you know, thank you to them. And to the people that hasn't been staying home, sana they realize na the importance of staying home and, and the meaning of flattening the curve. No? Um, in, in our show, we did a show called One Voice PH. We've had a series of different guests, different doctors, and we, we spoke to the doctors. Uh, these, these doctors were ER doctors telling us the situation of what's really happening there in the hospitals, no? And different networks, ABS, GMA, has been coming out with different short videos on work that has been, has been going on in the front lines. And it's incredible. Kapag nakikita natin yung mga nangyayari talaga sa hospital, talagang it's mind-blowing. Kapag nakikita natin yung mga ginago, nangyayari sa Italy, kumbaga sa ER ng Italy, it's, it's, it's like a movie. It's like we're inside a movie. So, you know, so... Um, I feel like st- still staying home, I was still able to, to do my part as a citizen and, and help out and organize um, different activities no? um, with the help of, of, of the Philippine Army and, and landers, etc. We were able to raise more than 10 million pesos and then we were able to distribute goods to places where, where, where they needed it the most. Kumbaga, no? I think I, 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 I'm talking too much, but going back to your question... On my daily routine, uh, after a few days, I was able to figure out uh, a daily routine. No, because I think a routine is very, very important for everybody out there. Uh, marami, marami mga tao na slowly after all these weeks na sabi na nalulungkot na ako, na depressed na ako, etc., etc. Um, you know, there's always a way. If there's a will, there's a way. Uh, what I've done here, I'm very, very blessed na I was able to set up my little mini gym. Uh, hindi naman sa gym na talagang gym na gym. Hindi. Uh, body weights lang. Tapos uh, uh, meron akong bisikleta dito, nagbabike, uh, etc. So, gumagawa talaga ng routine for the day. Sa umaga, nagigising ako ng alas 6 na umaga. Nag, uh, nagbabike. Sa hapon, tumatakbo ako. Uh, nagluluto para sa asawa, etc. All these things. So I'm just trying to keep everything uh, routine based and, and and alive kumbaga. Did I answer so, the question? Medyo mahaba. <laughs> so ikaw ang nagluluto talaga ngayon para sa asawa, no? Actually, <laughs> oh, oh, like we take turns, we take turns, no? Exciting. Actually, ano eh, marami talagang realization during this ano, this uh, 
COVID. And it's got the right timing for you because you're newly wed. Diba? At least tama extended yung ano extended yung <laughs> extended yung honeymoon. And it's something that uh, for me what's happening right now it's something wherein you can create more adventures, more experience not only of course with your family but of course with people around. So one of the questions here Mateo is what were your first worries that came into your mind when nangyari yung crisis? <clears throat> Siyempre para of course coming from an uh, like tayo diba we're into sports, you're into show business and salita tayo we travel around diba pero right now because of, because of the crisis will be on a lockdown, diba? So, ano, ano, what's the first word that came into your mind? If nag-worry ka, no? Of course, there's always a worry that came in, no? Especially with um, our, our my, my different businesses aside from showbiz. I have a restaurant business. I have a export business. And it, of course, example for for, for for example, the export business, we, we produce souvenir items. Nobody's gonna buy souvenir items anymore. You know, nobody's traveling. Nobody's gonna want to, you know, buy a key holder or whatever, no? So that's that's a problem. So I think in the restaurant, everything shut down, and you know, and slowly today we're starting to evolve and think about different strategies on how we can make this work. So take out um, now, okay, take out, but how do we deliver the logistics? Who do we partner with, etc.? All these things come come into play now. So I, I think it's very very important in, in days like this to really di- diversify and and really think about things that can can improve your business and or create a new business or do something new that is suitable to what's happening today no uh, we all know social media and 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 online is talagang booming you never know your you know my next business can or our next business can be all online based and advertising will be all online so everything involves with the time and of course we're we're in an economic crisis you know things are shutting down everything people will lose their job people are losing their jobs businesses are closed etc etc but it's very, very important to be proactive and think of ways on, on okay, this is not working. What are we going to do now? No? But uh, I'm sure not everybody will succeed. But hopefully, you know, if everybody will play it smart. There will be a lot of learnings from this big, big challenge. And everybody will come out stronger from this, hopefully. Yeah, I agree with you, Mateo. Um, uh, maybe in our lifetime, this is the first time that uh, we've experienced something like this. Um, even si Goy, mga parents natin, I don't know what's the worst thing that happened to them. And this is something that is parang on a global scale. Ano? Hindi lang sa atin sa Pilipinas, but people from all over the world. And uh, honestly, the challenge here is we don't know when will it end. So we are, of course, we are we are all preparing for the worst case scenario, but we are hoping and uh, always praying for uh, the best. Paul, right. I think you have a question for Mateo. Yeah. Um, actually, I... Uh, go, um... Referring to what you said, Joe, you know, about our parents, I do remember uh, my dad was talking about nung panahon nila. Ang experience yata nila was during wartime, eh. panahon ng mahapon, di ba? So, ngayon, eh, panahon ng coronavirus naman, no? Yun naman ang na-experience ng generation natin, you know? But on the lighter side, um, Mateo, um, you know, we are wondering actually, um, what are the things or hobbies uh, you find yourself doing now? That once that was once challenging to find time for. Wow. <laughs> Honestly, I have to be very honest right now. Um, I think uh, I've been opening the Bible more more often <laughs> in times now. To be really? honest, to be very blunt and, and transparent, um, you know. Um, uh, yun dati kasi sinasabi na basahin mo yung Bible etc and you open it and you just read a page or so but now today you know it's it's become uh, it's become more of a a routine it's part of the routine kumbaga no, to really open and to really uh, uh, read the word of God kumbaga so that that's one thing I read more I read more also different, different books etc and um, I'm cooking more <laughs> Wow. <laughs> There's just so many things that are that na, na, dito lang tayo sa bahay na you know we're learning more about each other and about ourselves more kubaga. You know, that uh kung, kung normal day lang to or normal situation, this will never be happening, kubaga. Right, right, yeah. Mm-hmm. Nung ano, um actually uh, you mentioned earlier no Mateo that uh you know you mentioned Sarah, how's married life? Um how how are you adjusting to it so far? Great, Sir Paul. It's amazing. Uh, you know, I recommend it to all my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I recommend it to all my friends. I was talking to my my other batchmates. Kumbaga, how's married life? I said, bro, I think you should get married too, man. I, um, 
I don't know, maybe I'm just in my honeymoon stage or I'm in the beginning of my marriage, but, um, you know, it's, it's amazing to be, to wake up, to sleep beside the person that you love the most. And, you know, it's amazing. I'm sure all of you can agree. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. yes. Of course. Um, of course, yeah. Oh, so it's, it's a blessing. And, and Kubaga, I found my partner, Kubaga, you know, there's so many things we could do together and so many things we could uh, achieve together, Kubaga. Galing, you know, parang, uh, can you consider this the best, one of the best uh, moments of your life? Of course, of course. Uh, COVID or no COVID. <laughs> but, you know, it also makes you learn about yourself so much more. And uh, you, you learn also about humility so much. You know, you're not always right, kumbaga, because the wife is always correct, even though they're not. But, yeah. <laughs> no, but, <I> joke. <laughs> no, but uh, on a serious note, you know, you really learn how to balance and how to and how to just uh, give in or just how to agree, you know, you know, things like that and to be more patient and all these things. So right. it's a nice, it's a nice uh, face, kumbaga. Yeah. Ang sarap naman pakinggan, no? uh, you know, talagang <laughs> pag newly married eh. In fact, kahit hindi newly married, no? No, every day is, uh, no, di ba? every day is a good day for, uh, you know, to, to rekindle, di ba? and to know your spouse better. No? Right. So, yeah, congratulations, Mateo. No? Um, well, again, on the, la- on the, on the lighter note, no, um, Maybe I can ask this kid Joey na rin, and say oh. Mateo, no? Okay. Um, most people are at home now, no? Um, of course, cooking, no? Like what you mentioned, Mateo, kanina, you, you're the one cooking, no? Sharing meals and snacks with their family, no? Um, how do you still keep yourself fit and healthy? Oh, wow. That's part of the routine. Uh, Sir Joey, you want to answer that first? Yeah, yeah. Sige. Um... Well, siguro medyo almost similar yung routine namin ni Mateo kasi we're both doing triathlon and of course right now you cannot do triathlon outside because uh, we're on a lockdown. So uh, what I usually do, I have a daily routine. Okay, Usually early in the morning. And by the way, MWF, of course we have the Sante Fit Fam so we do work out every MWF 9am with the entire Sante family and we will try to promote this further to involve even also our distributors. Pero ako, what I do is uh, alternate ako. It's either I bike. Kabibili ko lang ng treadmill sa bahay. I don't have a choice. Even in our village, mag pet for running. So I do uh, I do bike almost every day. Uh, I do run. Sometimes it's alternate chant. Pero one thing so exciting about this uh, this, uh, this this crisis is exciting. Ano? One, one thing so exciting about this is that I get a chance to at least run sometimes with my son, my eldest son. Yung second son ko naman is into biking. So sinasamahan ko rin siya mag uh, my bike ngayon. Um, in fact, uh, I can say that I am more active now than before because before I had to travel to do some work also. Eh. Pero now, whenever I wake up in the morning, uh, sa, wala ka naman masyadong gagawin minsan sa umaga. So, pag nagising ako minsan 6.30, 7 o'clock, I just try to go to my bike trainer and bike. Uh, and I don't know if everyone knows, but every now and then, I get to bike with Mateo also via a software called Zwift. So, nakikita kita na lang kami ron and we're biking all over the globe. So, we just see each other uh, by, uh, no, by uh, the internet. So, uh, that's what's happening to me right now. Uh, I keep myself active because number one, it's not that because I wanted to, because I have to. I have, I have to keep uh, yung, yung fitness level always at, uh, always at that level simply because I know that even though we're just here at home, Medyo sobrang dami ang activity natin. If you won't focus on your fitness, ang chances dito is you'll just, you'll just always open your ano, no? open your refrigerator and find some food to eat. Di ba? So, yeah, that's me. That's me. Um, that's my daily routine. Um, sigurang pahinga ko na lang usually is once a week when it comes to uh, working out. And I'm trying to keep myself uh, fit and busy in the for, for the past few weeks. What about you, Mateo? Same, same, you know, uh, I, I get up early in the morning and um, I, I'm starting my activities already, um, you know, for, but you know, for the people, baka may mga tao magsasabi, wow, wala kami bike, we're not allowed to go out. You know, there's a lot of things to do. There's a lot of different workouts you can do. You can check out on so YouTube, dami mga workouts dun, dami mga activities, no? It's, it's, um, it's. Sometimes we think, oh, there's nothing to do, we can't do because we don't have equipment. But there's so much we can do, especially there's so much of, with the use of YouTube and all these things. You could just search there, yoga man, stretching or whatever, man, and it just, it just pops out there. And you can just follow these routines for you and your partners and your family. And I think this is very, very important for everybody. Instead of just 
waking up and doing nothing and watching TV the whole day, diba? It's very, very important also to keep your immune system up and uh, to keep healthy also. It's very, very important. So, yun. Mm. What about you, Paul? Question lang, Paul. Kasi ako, I wonder because, of course, yeah. I just transferred to a new house last December. So, I think at least I have a big ground na pwede akong mag-create productivity. Pero what about you, Paul? Uh, you also transferred to a new house, pero of course, you cannot just go out of your your condo. So what's, what's your daily routine right now? Yeah, the daily routine, actually, kami tatlo. No? I have my si Paula and si Lynn. No? Um, we actually do YouTube. No? So si Paula is the one assigned to no, look for material sa YouTube. No? And we follow it. No? Doon kami sa harapan ng TV. We follow it. No? Sometimes it's just uh, cardio. Sometimes it's Zumba. Yun nga lang, yung Zumba, hindi ko masunod. No? Uh, and of course, di ba? <laughs> Medyo hindi ako magaling magsayaw. Eh, di ba? But of course, no, yung, ano, yung uh, Sante Fit Fam din natin, no, I follow that religiously. Hindi lang ako nagpapakita kasi kuminsan nakakahiya pag hindi ko na nasusundan tao, hindi ko na tatapos yung exercise sa pagod. No? But, you know, um, tama eh. Tama si Mateo, tama ka. No? It should be part of life eh. Because, you know, um, being healthy is not just, you know, uh, you know eating the right food eh being healthy also and if dapat nag exercise ka rin. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. And you know, can I add to that because people think also when when May 15 ba yung hanggang May 15 ba tayo? Well, according to the yung last news hanggang May 15, pero of course, yeah, okay. we don't so, know. May 15 or not May 15. Yeah. For instance, if ma matanggal na tong lockout, I don't think things will be like before. I think the new normal will be a new normal. Um, we have to realize that na kapag sasabihin nila na May 15, okay na lahat, boom, oh, mag-restaurant tayo, mag-gym na tayo, mag-party tayo. I don't think it's gonna be like that. I think we should be very responsible to still go out there and, and observe social distancing, wear masks, always wash your hands. All, all those things that we're doing, we should keep on doing that. Diba? I don't think it will be normal again until there's a vaccine or whatever in the future. But uh, we really have to take care of one another. And it's not just about us, but it's for our family members also. Right? Yeah. Um, so we have to be careful. I mean, if you, go out, if you go out doing activities, you come in, you might infect somebody else in your family, your wife, your husband, or whatever. So you really have to, we really have to be responsible with, with, with the situation. And of course, when the lockdown is lifted, kumbaga. Yeah, so honestly, no one knows what will happen in the coming days, eh? And ako, I, I understand the, the position of uh, especially yung mga, ano, heads of the government right now. This this really a challenging day for everyone. It's hard to make a decision. Parang alam mo yung if you decide to lift down the lockdown or not. Parang ano yun, eh, dump, if you do, dump, if you don't. Eh. Because whatever that happens, para yung responsibility na sa inyo. It's just the same with, of course, our organization in Sante. Um, right now, what we're doing also is just like what Mateo is saying. Um, even the company were preparing for the what what people call as the new normal but the other day we formulated a better term ano? not the new normal but we're preparing for a better normal so we're yeah. believing that we can create something better out of this uh, covid crisis this is already a uh, this is already a given and uh, we just have to maximize um, uh, as, as as i mentioned during our, our previous meetings there's always an opportunity behind this crisis and the challenge always is for us to seize those opportunities. And the only losers uh, during this crisis are the ones who will not learn. So Tainaman, as a company, we're learning a lot from the COVID crisis and we're trying to find out what can be a better no- normal for uh, everybody. Tama si Mateo, we might not be able to go back to the old usual way of us uh, living our lives, diba? especially for our business. Before kasi, Mateo, ang, ang usual activity ng mga business uh, we call our distributors business owners. We treat them as partners already. So their usual activity is uh, we have a training session in the office. So they invite people there. They invite guests. And we do conferences. But that, that, that activity might not happen in the coming months. Diba? Who, who would want to go to an office uh, with a crowd of 100 people? Diba? Lahat ngayon medyo matatakot. Eh. Kaya nga, Medyo important thing is for us to evaluate the way that we do our business. And of course, Zoom call is just, uh, it's just this is just a tool that helps us a lot when it comes to communicating to uh, people. Marami talagang changes na, ano, na pwedeng mangyari. Okay? Paul, do you have any questions say right now for Mateo? Uh, right now, yes. Um, what, what were the things or what are the things that inspire you to choose the right at- attitude? despite all these crises going on? 
What inspires me? Wow. Yeah, to be in the right frame of mind always, having the right attitude. I think uh, I, you have to live by example. No, you, I have a little brother. I have my wife. If if I if I if I just wake up and do nothing and and, and be lazy, etc. I think they're gonna tend to follow also, right? Because you're living in one roof together. So I think just being active and the people I, I work out with online, my dad, the community, like Sir Joey said, I work with our group. Just inspires you every day, you know. It inspires you to 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 work out better, harder, faster, stronger. So things like this and. Also talking to frontliners, talking to some members of the the, the army and, and doctors, etc., and and seeing how hard they work and how hard they're there every single day just to to keep the peace and order, keep the the the, the hospitals going, saving lives. It's that inspires me alone. That, that that's such a great inspiration. Uh, wow, these people are fighting so hard just for to keep people alive, to to cure people. I'll give you an example. Um, I have a friend. Um, his name is Doc Ted. Um, he's a he's a doctor. He teaches tactical medicine, meaning uh, he teaches people on what to do, first aid, etc. In in war zones or or you know in war zones, tactical medicine. Um, he he discovered he was positive with coronavirus. I think a few weeks ago, and what he did while he was in the hospital, he documented every single day of his journey, and. Um, it was incredible. It was incredible. I was praying for him every day. I was communicating with him once in a while. Um, a doc, doc Ted, my teacher, EMT class, Diane said, Sino si Diane? Hi, Diane. Diane's here? Yeah. Diane. Yeah. Diane. Diane. Panase. Diane is one of, uh, one <laughs> of the uh, attendees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Doc Ted, yeah. Doc Ted's amazing. Anyway, so he, he documented it every day and, and it was incredible on, on, on how he kept that positivity going on. Mm -hmm. if, if, if that was somebody, other people, sobrang negative na sila, etc., etc. But, you know, um, Doc Ted kept that positive morale and really fought, fought every single day. And then today he's out. He's still in, in his quarantine phase, but he's out. He's still posting pictures of him exercising now and talking about his experience, etc., etc. And that's great inspiration. That's an inspiration uh, in, in life. You know, you cannot stop fighting. There's always, there's always something ahead. You always have to go for that. Always keep on going. You cannot stop. Um, I'll give you another example. See, Isa Calzado. Yeah. Um, when, when I found out she was positive of COVID, I swear my heart broke. My heart broke. Um, I was, I was in shock. And, and, you know, the closer it gets, to, to home, parang the more real it gets, the more sakit, more painful it gets. You know, sa umpisa lang, oh, my COVID, okay, naintindihan natin, delikado to. Pero kapag lumalapit na, na kilala mo ng mga tao na na hospital na, 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 kumbaga, na, na nakakuha ng COVID, you, it hurts. So, with Isa, you know, every other day or whatever, I was texting her, Isa, how are you? Ganito, ito. I'm not, I'm fighting, I'm fighting, etc. Until the day she took the test again and yun, negative na siya and she was able mm -hmm. to go home. I mean, that's such a blessing and, and that, sh that shows that there's so much people out there with so much fighting spirits that we have to learn from. We have to learn from it. It's never give up. You know, yes, you may be depressed. Yes, you may be sad, etc., etc. But there's always a door there that you can open and it will give you a bigger light and brighter light for the future. So, yun, did I make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, during these times, talaga, during these times of crisis, for me, um, you know, one one thing that I've learned from this crisis is for us to be resilient. And because you know, uh, this is just one crisis. Na pwedeng, uh, pwedeng tamaan talaga tayo eh, uh, during our lifetime, di ba? So one lesson learned here is how to be resilient when it comes to crisis like this. Um, how to keep a positive outlook, positive mindset. Pero one thing for me that is so important because let's face it, there's a lot of people right now. Um, you know, Mateo, one thing good about Sante is we're blessed right now because we still have a business that's operating. Our business owners, uh, they still have an avenue to at least supply the products to people who are in need. So and in the coming months and years, I know that we'll be growing since we have products right now that are needed by people who wants to boost their immune system. But one thing for me um, that we need to consider also during these times of crisis is bringing back to the community yung blessing naman, di ba? So right. 
we've heard, Mateo, that you have an initi uh, initiative right now to help people. Can you tell us more about it? And of course, later on, we'll discuss the possibility of how Sante can partner with you uh, with your initiatives. Yeah, I mean, uh, when, when the ECQ started, we were able to organize an activity already. It was called One, One Voice PH. We made it more like a musical show, more of like a talk show, etc. We, we played on my Facebook page. And it's, part, it's in partnership with Landers and the Philippine Army. So our concept there is um, we raise funds, of course, and uh, we, we pack grocery items. So 1,000 pesos is good for one family of four for one week. All right? So 1,000 pesos, a family of four for one whole week. So 1,000 pesos for one week, that, that sounds very minimal, but... With 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 what has what with what Landers has done, um, they sell all the goods at cost. They don't earn from this; it's all at cost. So I was my heart was exploding with joy when people were posting and, and thanking Landers, thanking me, thanking the army, and thanking the people of the, that donated with the pictures you know, of the grocery items. Ang dami, ang daming binigay ni Landers, Ka, uh, rice, canned stuff, etc., etc. And it was very nice. And with the Philippine Army, the man, the army chooses the spots that need it the most. So they deliver, they do the logistics uh, part of it. So for example, um, a week ago, Swatch wanted a special delivery to be delivered to Dagupan. Um, Swatch donated 1 million pesos. We brought it to Landers. Landers gave the 1 million pesos of products. And then, land, and then the Philippine Army packed 1,000 packs and we delivered it last Friday. And things like this, you know. Um, I mean, a lot of artistas, a lot of individuals out there are doing their own charity projects. And this is great. This is great. Every, every little charity project is great. Angel Oxine has been doing something amazing, building tents outside of, uh, of hospitals. Um, Pia Wurzbach has been donating masks. I mean, everybody has their own thing. Um, char char charity goes a long way. Uh, it doesn't have to be a big major way. You can be helping out uh, the family of your katulong or the family of your cousin or the family of this that's a big help to to the to the community already kumbaga yeah so that that's uh, that, that's good to hear mateo alam mo talaga during these times uh i believe in the saying that uh, I, 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 ko maalala ko sa mga dinito I, I believe during high school days pa eh, that during times of uh like this mga crisis the resources of the world is for everybody so this is uh, the time for everyone to pull out their resources in order to support the community. Uh, this is a challenging stage for a lot of people. And we don't know the magnitude of this. Siguro hanggang hindi natatapos yung crisis. So, ako, um, of course, one thing that uh, we've discussed with Mateo is the possibility of, of course, partnering with him uh, dun sa cost niya of uh, supporting, of course, uh, Filipino family. So, at this point, uh, without, of course, without uh, announcing uh, anything to the Sante family, which I would like to encourage everyone, uh, in the next coming days, we will be um, having our... Uh, our drive also to support the community and uh, we'll be sharing it to you uh, whenever it's possible. And the goal is to partner with Mateo dun sa cost niya to support the community. And uh, Sante will back you up, Mateo, because we believe that this is the right time for us to really support the community. Uh, we are being blessed as a company, so this is the right time for us to share those blessings to people. And I challenge all our partners who are watching right now, okay? Um, in FB Live, we have around... Uh, almost uh, 700 viewers right now. I challenge all our business owners, our business partners to please find time okay, to support your community. Of course, we will be launching our own and we'll be uh, going to you for support. But at the same time, um, please find time to support your community kung saan ka nandoon, okay? whether they are your relatives, friends, or neighbors. So uh, be a channel of blessing. And I assure you, blessings will come upon you uh, in the coming months or coming years. Naniniwala pa rin ako that everything happens for a reason. The reason why nangyari ito ngayon is for you to be a channel of blessings to people. Okay, uh, Paul, do you have any questions there? Or Ian, just in case you have questions from, from our audience, uh, please feel free. I have one, I have one. Yeah. Sir Joey. Sige lang, continue. Meron ako dito. Teka lang, bagal ng internet ko. Ito, meron, meron isang ano dito. Let, let us, uh, can we read comments? Sure, of course, of course, of course. Yeah. This talk is very useful. However, I don't find it realistic in the sense that Mateo's experiences does not, does not influence and reflect that much with other people's worst situation. He, 
he does not have first-hand ex- real experience of being in a hopeless and most difficult situation in lives. It is easy to say to be positive, but but it is actually difficult in other people's situation. But I think, Mateo, yeah. In, of course, it, it, it's very, very... It, it's very easy to talk and to discuss things like this, but in... In, in other people's situations, it's very, very difficult, especially in Cebu. I'm, I'm Cebuano. And um, Cebu is very condensed, all right? The barangays are really tight. Um, I, I don't really like using this, uh, these terms, na rich, me- medium, and poor, etc. I, I don't really like that. But in reality, in Cebu, there's, there's rich subdivisions and there's the, the, the poor, the poor uh, barangays and then the rich, etc., etc., now, what happened in Cebu was that uh, Cebu was COVID-free before. And then one, in one small barangay, there was one person that got infected. He went to the hospital. The hospital said he was positive. Now the hospital said, go back home, isolate yourself. So he went back home. The problem is he lived in, in the really tight barangays that one house houses maybe 10 people. And everybody's so congested. So what happened was he went back and he... In, he, he spread out the whole virus everywhere. Kumbaga. So it's very, very... We're blessed. We're blessed to be living in, in homes and having a proper roof and having space. Kumbaga. But there's a lot of Kababayans, a lot of our Filipino people that has hard time, uh, very hard time living. Kumbaga, no? Everybody, everybody's so congested. They can infect anybody. But you know what we can do is just help one another. Hopefully, these relief operations will help. And secondly, I think being a responsible citizen will help so much. Listening to the government, listening to your barangay tano, listening to the police, etc. I mean, these days, things are happening, you know, not just positive, but also negative, like that foreigner that, that created chaos the other day, etc., etc., all these things. But we don't need things like this now. We just have to listen. Let us be proper citizens. Let's just listen. Follow the rules because yung mga panahon ngayon is very, very it's different it's different and it's very sensitive you know one wrong move can spark a big whole big problem so as a citizen let's help one another let's help one another let's be responsible and let's do our part do it make sense yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, you know the challenge nowadays because mateo people tends to be so emotional of what's happening and yeah. so, uh, my 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 take lang on people who are because uh, there there's there are people right now who are well off also uh, maybe lesser yung impact sa kanila ng crisis because number one, they still have money to buy food, to buy groceries. Sa akin naman, um, ako, I'm, I'm, I'm talking especially to our business owners who are uh, right now, in a way, uh, marami sa kanila, they're happy, they're satisfied, they have money. And one thing naman is, the reason why uh, people like Mateo, like uh, other people who are capable right now, the reason why they're into that situation it's because they, they prepare for that for ilang years, eh, diba? Like for Mateo, if he's experiencing a good life right now, it's simply because pinagtrabahohan niya yan. And um, one thing that people like uh, Mateo and maybe the other actors and actresses and maybe successful people, uh, right now what we can do is, of course, the least that we can do uh, via Zoom is, is inspire people. But of course, we also have to do our part by supporting the community. And maybe that's the least that we can do. Siguro ngayong panahon na to, um, ang importante sa lahat is we just, we just need to parang hold each other's hands and try to find ways in order to support one another. Now, the challenge uh, is this, uh, and I'm talking to the people who are watching right now, whether you are a distributor of Sante or whether you are just an audience, okay? Um, if you're living a good life right now or living a life na medyo kulang pa, maybe this is a lesson learned already for us. Maybe during this COVID crisis where we're on a lockdown, why not try to innovate and change the way uh, that you treat your... I mean, marami, ako, it, it's really a sad fact and I'm praying na hindi sana mangyari pero I believe there will be some employees na pwedeng mawala ng trabaho. Okay, mm-hmm. so the question is if uh, it will happen, question is what will you do? So find time during this COVID to realize or to try to invent the way that you do your job and business and prepare... We hope that it won't happen, but prepare just in case there will be a next crisis. So, important lang is makapaganda tayo ngayon. Again, for people who are happy and satisfied right now, yes, you're blessed because you've worked hard for it. Pero, of course, the goal right now is to share these blessings to the community. Okay? Yeah. Um, Agree. Do we have other questions, Paul? Uh, sa, we have some questions pa rito, no? um, officially. Pero, 
maybe there are questions pa right now sa sa mga chat different chat rooms natin. Yeah. But to add to that, Joey, no, Mateo, no, um, I totally agree with what Mateo said. No? Um, for you to contribute, even if you're stuck at home, no, is to cooperate. Yeah? No? Uh, cooperate uh, with the government directives, cooperate with what uh, health uh, workers are saying. No? Kasi ano eh, um, if you cannot contribute financially, if you cannot contribute in other ways, your cooperation actually is a big contribution already. No? So um, I like what Mateo said kanina. No? Uh, stay home means staying home, no, not going out. Because when you stay home, it literally means you are saving lives. No? So reminders sa lahat. No? So just you know, do your part. No? And you are contributing to the country very hugely. Sige po, siguro let's... Uh, and the barley, cheers. Yeah, cheers. Cheers. Tingin yung barley dyan. Ian, on your end, do you have any, any questions to ask? Uh, may, may meron ba kayo nag-gather dyan? Um, uh, maybe in relation to uh, while Matt is drinking his barley, how does it taste like to you daw? Uh, there came a question. How does it taste like to you, uh, Sunday barley? <laughs> very good, very good. I have it, actually, I have it every morning. Um, to be honest with you guys, I have it every morning, either during my ride, my bike ride, or after. Mm -hmm. Um, that's when I have it, so it's good, you know. Oh, good. Good. <laughs> Another question. Uh, this is from Apple Chico, one of our uh, business owners. Being a public figure, how do you keep your mental health healthy? Um, mental health. That's pretty important. Marami uh, matao nag nag discuss about this mental health situation, no? and I think, um, like I said before, keeping a routine is very very important. Keeping a routine. Um, Exercising, I believe in fitness. I believe in fitness. That's why we were talking about Kanina. It's very, very important to stay fit or just stay active. You know, uh, like Santi Barley gives out these great classes with your Santi Barley, Santi coach, fit, Santi fitness coaches. Um, join that. You know, basta um, magpapawis tayo is very, very important, especially in, in times like this. Uh, yun. Have a routine. Stay fit. And start a new activity. Like I said, Karina, I'm starting to read more, you know, and, and, and learn more about different things. So do things, have an objective, and learn from that. Yeah. One yeah. comment here uh, from Arlene, of course, our marketing head, uh, to Mateo. What's good is you're using your influence so that this hope reaches the ones who directly needs it. So kudos. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Arlene. You know, like I said all the time, um, when people say thank you, it's not because of me. It's because of the people that has donated. We're just an instrument. No, we're just an instrument that's being used. Uh, but the, the real superheroes here are the people that really donated, the, the people that really gave their time. Yeah, I agree. Uh, moving forward. Um... Joey, I have another question for yeah, Mateo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll read it to Mateo. Okay, it's actually from my daughter. Uh, you were recently appointed as National Youth Ambassador. Uh, since your contribution to the youth has been recognized through your services, in line with this, can you give some tips and advice to the youth on how they can make an impact to society? Yeah, and I, I believe so. I really believe in the youth sector so much because I believe the youth sector is the base of everything. The youth sector will be the future of the Philippines. So it's very, very important to really uh, hone, hone the sector and and, and um, give them different activities to really hone themselves to be responsible citizens for the future. You know? um, as the National Youth Ambassador uh, with the National Youth Commission, um, the National Youth Commission has created different activities for specifically for the youth. If you want to know more about that, just go on their Facebook page, which is Na National Youth Commission. Um, they have a Facebook page. And um, you can see they have, they have different, uh, different activities there. And speaking about mental health, they have a lot of activities about that also. We have this thing that we launched it called TikTok. Not TikTok, TikTok. As in T-A-L-K. TikTok. Um, usapang life, hope, and relationships. No, you, you, you go there and you start talk, talking about your feelings, your, 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 about hope, about, about life. Kumbaga. So I think little little exercises like this is very, very helpful for, for an individual, especially for the youth sector. And for the youth sector, again, going back to the whole basis of this whole thing, let's just all be responsible citizens and examples for our friends and family. That's very, very important. Thank you. Thank you, Mateo. 
Amay. Alam niyo, uh, na during these times talaga napakalaki ng role. Uh, of course, for the, for the youth. Ano? Uh, and I'm speaking, of course, in front of our the youth of Sante that there's a huge responsibility for us right now because uh, we are upcoming, uh, we, we are the upcoming future of this country and your uh, your contribution right now will really create an impact in the future of uh, this nation. This is a challenging time for everybody, but I do believe there's really a light at the end of the tunnel. All we have to do is just uh, just believe that something big something great will happen uh, in the coming days. Okay, uh, Ian, any more other questions on your end uh, one, before we wrap up our uh, interview with Mateo? Yeah, one more from Sir JP Marcelo. Mm -hmm. uh, Matt, you, your relatives are from Italy and uh, there's a, uh, heavy, there are heavy cases there. Do you have uh, relatives who have cases or how's your relatives down there in Italy? Yeah, I have a few relatives there now um, in Venice actually and nag-uusap kami more uh, every night, every night. Kapag nag-dinner kami dito, I think it's morning there, I think. So they text and we just, you know, talk to each other and um, they're all they're all locked in basically. Um, the rules are very very strict also. Um, they're all they're all at home. Um, they have a system uh, if you have to go do your groceries, only one person has to go. Um, kapag dalawang tao sa kotse, mapafine kayo, etc. All these things. So they have their own system there. And, and uh, let's just all pray that uh, Italy will be, will be cured, the Philippines will be cured, America will be cured, and the whole world will be cured very, very, very soon. Uh, yun. So we just have to really unite. We have to unite BS1 and, and, and just pray hard. Yeah, okay. So sabi nga nung, sabi nung marami nga eh, uh, this virus, this uh, COVID-19, this is the great equalizer. So ngayon, walang mayaman, walang mahirap. You can be infected even though uh, I was surprised that even people na talagang hindi lumalabas rin ng, yung, to sell them that they go out of their houses pero nahahawa pa rin. So be very extra uh, careful. Of course, uh, we're happy to, we're, you know, we're, we're blessed simply to have a product that can help really people during these times of crisis. Okay? Exactly. Or that, it's a product that really boosts the immune system. That's very, very important. Not only that you're giving, Sir Joey, that you're giving work to people, making them business owners, etc. Your product also is is good for the health. It's yeah. it's something people need to 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 really uh, take every day. Kumbaga, diba? It's it's something important. You know what? One, sure. Uh, uh, one quick history lang about Santa Barley. Talking about, uh, of course, the company. Uh, well, number one, we're so proud of the company because it's helping a lot of people. Pero one thing about our company is that. From day one, not actually day one of Sante, but day one of the owners running their own company, that was 2001 pa, we've, we've been really praying for the right product for us that can really help a lot of people. So uh, who would know that it's uh, barley grass pala, one of our major products. Of course, we have another product, vitamin C. Uh, maybe we are asking when will be the stock of vitamin C be coming so very, very soon. Okay, So we have, we're blessed with this product and ang challenge to our partners natin is use these products as a channel of blessings to people. Okay? Uh, maraming nangangailangan nito. So for me, it's not about money anymore. It's not about business anymore. As I was saying always, is business will always follow if we do the right things. And right now, the priority is how can we support people? Of course, we need to survive. Everybody needs to survive. And I believe that we will survive, survive this crisis. Ang importante lang ngayon is how we can use Barley, our company, Okay, uh, as a channel of blessings to uh, to people. So uh, that's what we're always praying okay? uh, in our organization. Okay, so any uh, any Paul, do you have any other questions before we wrap up our meeting? Our, no, we're good. Uh, we're good. Uh, we're good, Joey. We're good, Mateo. Yeah. Sige, um, uh, siguro a message sa lang, ano? Mateo, can you uh, give your message around not only to the Santi business owners, but of course. To all the frontliners and to all our people, the people who are watching right now uh, in our Zoom call. Yeah, unang una, marami salamat Sante Barley now for this opportunity and and uh, like I said, nung launching natin blessing in disguise din talaga na na kasama na ako sa sa pamilya niyo no. Like uh, ten years ago, nung nakikita ko lang yung Sante Barley sa mga uniforms ng mga triathlete, sabi ko sarili ko pangarap ko talaga maging uh, endorser man or or uh, yun, endorser ng Sante Barley. At nangyari talaga, no? After all these years, nangyari. So, maraming maraming salamat sa, sa family ng Sante Barley, sa lahat ng business owners and everything. And Sir Joey and Sir Paul and to the whole Sante Barley team, thank you for making every Filipino's life better, kubaga. Um, not, just by not just by creating businesses, but also 
with your product that really boosts your immune system and really takes care of every Filipino. So maraming maraming salamat for that. And also, now, your mga activities ninyo, yung fitness activities ninyo, yung mga meetings like this, you know, it, it builds a sense of community and, and it, it builds a sense of uh, being as one with with all the Santi Barley owners and more importantly, with all the Filipinos. So maraming salamat. Secondly, maraming din salamat sa lahat ng frontliners natin, lahat ng mga tao na nandyan sa labas, um, doctors, nurses, healthcare workers, people in the hospital, janitors, uh, Lahat, lahat, lahat nandun sa labas, PNP, AFP, etc., grocery workers, garbage men, uh, yung mga delivery operators, lahat kayo, maraming salamat for what you do. Um, you're not just doing it for your family members, but you're doing it for the, fa- for the whole country, so maraming salamat. And let's just pray, let's continue praying and, and thinking positive that we'll all get through this together because we will. Um, and it's just a matter of time and we will all see each other in real life soon. <laughs> no? So, maraming maraming salamat and um, thank you for the opportunity po. Thank you. Thank you, Mateo. Anyways, and also, thank you. I'd like to do a special shout out sa lahat ng mga business owners natin at lahat ng mga kababayan sa atin sa Cebu. Uh, mayang hapon sa inyong tanan. At uh, please stay safe, Cebu, dahil uh, mahal ko talaga ang Cebu dahil first home ko ang Cebu. No? So, ayo-ayo mo tanan. Again, let's be responsible citizens. And um, let's 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 pray for a better tomorrow. So, yeah. salamat sa inyo lahat. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Mateo. In fact, marami nang message dito. Kamusta raw kay ano? Kamusta raw kay Sarah? Okay yeah. naman. Okay naman. Actually, ngayon, anong oras na ba? Two. Kakain na kami after. Again. So, salamat. Late lunch. Anyway, so, uh, I'd just like to thank all of you who watch our uh, Zoom call right now. Siguro shout out lang sa mga partners natin from uh, who are watching right now. No? Partners from UAE. Of course, that includes Dubai and uh, Abu Dhabi, um, Qatar, Nigeria. Um, of course, we have partners from Hong Kong, Singapore, Macau. Who else? Uh, from Cyprus, of course. Okay, uh, Partners also from Bulgaria. And uh, to all our partners who are all over the world, thank you very much for watching. Of course, keep safe. Uh, before we finally end, um, we'd just like to advertise also our next Zoom call. We'll be having a special uh-huh. guest. Share ko lang yung screen ko. I'll just share my screen. Um, we'll be having another Zoom call um, this coming Friday. Okay, I don't know if you can see this uh, poster. We'll be having a Zoom call this coming Friday um, one at 9.30 p.m. Uh, Philippines, uh, Philippine time, of course. This is a Zoom call, of course, with the founder and president of the Mastermind event, Okay, Mr. Art Jonak. The topic is using today's technology to run a successful business at home. So this is a special event. We sell the, uh, If you want to uh, listen to our Jonak, you have to join us in one of our trainings in the U.S., but you don't have to do that because uh, uh, we're blessed to have invited our Jonak this coming Friday, 9.30 p.m. Um, this might not be live via FB Live. So we'll make it sure that we have enough capacity on our Zoom call for this uh, webinar. So again, it's coming May 1, 2020, 9.30 p.m. live via Zoom. Special webinar with Mr. Art Jonah. Okay, uh, Paul, any final words before we finally close this Zoom call? Oh, yes. Um, I'd like to thank Mateo. Uh, Mateo, um, it was really uh, very inspiring. Um, you inspired me, actually, and you inspired a lot of people, lalo na yung mga youth sector, no? And uh, I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. I'm pretty sure you got inspired too and you learned a lot this afternoon. And uh, maybe I can leave you with this. No? Um, it's a variation of John F. Kennedy's uh, uh, speech. No? Um, ask what others, ask not what others can do for you, but rather ask what you can do for others. So I'll see you guys. I'll see you this Friday. Uh, the grass is always greener in Sante, COVID or no uh, COVID or no COVID. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Paul, Mateo, and of course, to all our uh, partners who's in the back room. Of course, Ian is there, Sheila, who else? Arlene is there, Genriel, Ryan, okay, our, uh, the whole crew of this uh, Zoom call. So again, thank you very much for watching. Mateo, thank you very much, bro, for uh, being with us and to all our partners. God bless you all. Always remember, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And crisis or no crisis, the grass is greener in Sante Barley. Thank you very much. God bless everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you.